Welcome back, everyone. We are once again in Ultimate General Civil War. We've just finished playing Ultimate General Gettysburg after we had finished in uh, Gettysburg in this game, and I wanted to compare the two, but now we're back in Ultimate General Civil War. We're going to be fighting a battle that leads up to the Battle of Chickamauga. Um, we are going to be using cavalry and I believe our first corps. And again, there's a lot of panning. I don't remember this much panning in the first battles. All right. Yep. All right, good. There we are. And I suppose that will work. Okay, good. We'll grab all of our infantry. Or not all of it, but we'll get some infantry moving. Let's go ahead and break out skirmishers so we can get them rushing forward to kind of see what's ahead. As we see, there are forts and there's another, not a fort, but fortifications now, there isn't anything down here, so I'll break out some skirmishers from Loomis and Graham's boys. And we'll send those skirmishers over to check this. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see the problem. But we'll still send the skirmishers forward anyway. Now, let's grab Rhodes, Loomis, and Graham's. I'm having to get used to the controls again. They're very different than the controls that we found in uh, Ultimate General Gettysburg. And let's see, let's move these troops here. It'll take them a little longer, but that's okay because, okay, what do we got? Attack their defenses. All right, we've got reinforcements coming. Fantastic. We'll send these guys on up here. Get across as quickly as possible. And we'll set up artillery on this ridge here. It'll also give us the, you know, a, a, a position where we can gather intelligence. Now, uh, we won at Gettysburg, so things should okay let's see what do we got here all right so they will oppose that crossing i'm sure of it and these skirmishers i'm going to order these two skirmish units to return to their unit and we'll just leave morris's skirmishers there now we need to cross and go ahead and i guess i'll send morris on a cross because we know it's secure and once we have it relatively secured uh, well, that's just a good thing. We don't we don't want to lose troops trying to cross. Now, these guys are going to go up here and try to cross at that ford. McCord's already crossing, as are... What's taking Couch so long? I don't know, but I do see enemy troops up here. So I'm going to drop McCord right here, right here, and they will begin, you know, pressing forward on the attack. All right. Here are to oh there we are skirmishers up here I'll break the cord forward to try to sweep them back and couch will form up in these trees he'll start attacking this unit all right our skirmishers I sent them across so that they would take the artillery uh, shots all right I hear more volleys so that's that's our guys okay fantastic now, I actually just want to move forward our artillery is getting off some shots but those are skirmish units so as you know skirmish units are not the best. Uh, for uh, They're not the best units for uh, taking on infantry, but they're fantastic for taking artillery blast without losing as many uh, troops. So not that our artillery is being all that effective here, so I'm going to redirect it to fire at this. All right, McCord should be able to get off a few volleys. I'm going to break off skirmishers and then move the main unit this way and allow McCord skirmishers to begin holding this skirmish unit back. Kind of also will be protecting our artillery. Couch is gonna move forward and attack this position. Morris, okay. Dural's Devils are going to route to deal with these skirmishers and we're going to not route, uh, they're going to redirect, I guess is what I should have said. And we'll send Ward up here. I need to get my troops up along this position. And then as soon as we have enough troops in, you know, kind of arranged, we're going to probably charge those positions and drive them back. That's why you see I'm positioning troops right, you know, kind of like, all right, let's break out some skirmishers. Get those skirmishers to deal with this. Break off skirmishers from here. Let these skirmishers deal with this. Bloom, who are you? I'm not sure who you are. I'll break out these skirmishers as well. Get Dural's Devils to move up to here. We need to begin pressing the attack. Let's see. 
All right, so... Artillery's hitting this position. Our skirmishers should be dealing with this. I'm gonna order them to march. And I'll order these skirmishers to march as well. Uh, Cause I wanna begin getting closer to the enemy and just try to drive those skirmishers back. Let's see, what are our objectives? I should have done that to begin with. Our objective is just this fort. So, doing pretty good here. Let's get the commander and move him up, as well as Graham's boys. And we'll move the supplies on across the river because we should be able to provide some level of safety for them. We're gonna charge Morris forward and Sims. I guess that's how you say that. All right, the commander needs to move up here. I've he got some uh, he got some uh, uh, a promotion, and so now his uh, aura radius, this circle, is much bigger. So we'll be able to uh, boost the morale of our troops much easier. We're going to send Ward on forward, and Rhodes will march right up here, and Loomis will march here. The Iron Brigade will get into position here, so we should be able to hopefully break them. Now, uh, let's see, uh, they've been flanked. Ward is going to try to drive them off the walls here. Our troops are exhausted, Morris is breaking. I'm gonna stop the charge from Sims. Sims will begin attacking this way. I'm gonna order Ward to form, and we'll send Rhodes on up in. No, Rhodes, don't attack, move. I'm trying to draw the movement in. All right, Lewis, move there. Graham's boys move here. Arm Brigade, continue focusing fire on this. All right, Morris, fall back, which is what you're doing. Hopefully the morale will get before he crosses the river. I don't wanna to have to make him march that far again. How is Ward doing? Low morale, poor cover, poor condition. It's acceptable though, although they are falling back. So Sims has been rear flanked. That was a mistake to put him into cover anyway. Uh, let's see. Send Graham's boys this way. Having a bit of trouble handling the troops. The, the game plays quite differently than it did in uh, Ultimate General Gettysburg. I'm going to send these skirmish units forward to deal with these skirmishers while the three other units try to, for lack of a better term, destroy. Ah, we found stuff. Okay. Good. Get McCord to move forward. His skirmishers, I mean, and see if they can take out some of this. The enemy does have a large amount of cavalry. All right, but we have, I believe, taken the position pretty much. Let's get Loomis to move on forward. They'll attack this artillery unit. The armed brigade will follow in. We'll move Sims through and Morris, who is now got good morale, but is in pretty bad shape. We'll move him into the fort. Shouldn't be too hard. Once we have the fort, it's just gonna be a matter of moving the troops uh, back through here. Some of them to kind of clean out this and then we'll press forward on the attack on that flank. Now, this over here is not going to be much of an issue for us. Uh, but part of the issue will be the Bayou Force. That's the name of the battle, by the way. All right. Uh, what we do have to do is uh, try to hold back some of these troops so that they don't organize them against us here. Loomis needs to stop running and fire on the flank of this unit. And the Iron Brigade can do similar. Oh, they're, they're getting into cover, which is not good because... Uh, not good for them, I don't believe, because I believe that exposes them to our fire. So let's see. All right. Couch is still in cover and firing here. All right, we're, we're basically... These units are just holding down this area. All right, lead. Let's see. Let's go ahead and send the commander up closer. We don't want him to get into trouble, but we do want to have him close enough so that we can use him to reinforce morale. Now let's see, what do we got on the clock? We have eight minutes before the, co the contested area. Okay, why did they run forward? Are, are they... They're still set to charge, uh, which was not what I wanted to do anyway. So, um, Loomis, uh, stop charging. 
just form and regularly attack him. Okay, that's a little better. We've routed their artillery, but that wasn't what I was aiming to do. Uh, 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 okay. Somewhat sloppy compared to... I feel like it's more it's sloppier than what we had been doing. I'm going to move the supplies up here in case they try to do something with this infantry unit. We have one minute before the, the contested area is completely turned around. Okay, so we've routed them there. So the Iron Brigade is going to go in defensive positions here. Ward is going to go into defensive positions here. Rhodes, move up here just to support. And Morris, you move here. We'll move the commander dead center and... All right, these units are just kind of holding a large amount of the force here. Have we managed to force our way across? No, we haven't. Um, we still have an hour on the clock, so I think going ahead and crossing is going to be probably a good choice on our part. Um, Lewis is falling back. Probably was a pretty bad battle for them so far. Uh, we're going to get ready to... Uh, repel the attack as it moves. I'm going to go ahead and leave, you know, couch, stay on target, I guess. These units are kind of holding, forcing the enemy to hold troops. Now, these guys, the skirmishers are going to go across and hopefully take any volleys. Duel's devils have low cover, but they're in good condition. Wait one. Here we go. We're going to charge. Walton's immortals are going to come down here and as well as Bloom. Now, the idea being I want to challenge the enemy's attack on this position. We don't want them to be able to take this position back from us. Okay, we've got an hour and 40 minutes of game time on the clock. Order these skirmishers to deal with this. Dural's Devils will stop charging and we'll just begin reforming as an infantry line. We'll use these skirmishers to try to hold back their skirmishers and Dural's Devils and the Skirmishers will deal with this cavalry. Now, one thing that annoys me is when I build a cavalry unit, I believe I'm capped at like 75, uh, 750 troops. And look, look, they've got 894. So obviously they can build, the computer can build much larger cavalry units. Um, I'm not too fond of cavalry, but it, it, it would be nice if we could do the exact same thing that the computer is and they wouldn't have that slight advantage. I suppose it's an advantage. I'm not certain of it. We've had definitely had some really good luck with cavalry. But um, we've also had some problems with it. So, I mean, it's something fragile. And if you get the tactics wrong, it could go really bad really quickly. But I'm hopeful that we won't get any of the attack that we might be able to. I would, I, how should I say? I would like for us to be able to have the exact same abilities as the AI. Maybe we do now. I need to check. I know there have been a few patches since I played. All right, the enemy's really pressing hard on this position, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me because this is the objective. We have an hour and 27 minutes on the game time, uh, the game clock. All right, here we go. These skirmishers might be able to get off a few volleys. Walton's Immortals skirmishers might be able to do a little bit, and we'll move Dural's Devils up here just to begin pressing. I believe the enemy is getting some reinforcements, and I don't want them... Okay, uh, Rhodes move into room to this position. And Graham's boys will move here. Loomis is here. Uh, Sims will move and turn and hit this position. All right, they were being charged here. So while I don't see this as a particularly important battle, the enemy is drawing troops off here, which is giving us... Uh, it, which is effective because we need to hold this position. We don't care about if they take whatever they think this is for. They apparently view that as a severe threat to them. Whereas all I care about is the sport because that's the objective. If objectives, uh, if this was a multi-part battle, I might would care more. I'm beginning to think that they've kind of changed that. Okay, so we've definitely got problems here. McCord is breaking. We could bring Couch back here. That might be good. And then move these skirmishers over here to try to, you know, hold back the enemy a little bit. But we'll get off some artillery. I just need to protect my artillery at this point. 
All right, Sims has managed to do an excellent job of driving uh, this unit, Clark, out. Uh, let's see, that was Hawthorne. Clark is up here. They were attacking here, so these three units were able to kind of whittle them down. Uh, I'll send these skirmishers out here just to kind of begin harassing. Dural's Devils will re-divert down to this position, and we'll try to kind of sweep this area. We move Ward forward. He can begin... As they move troops up to attack this position, we're able to kind of hit them. They are going to move troops this way, which was part of the problem with moving these troops back. I probably need to reorganize everything along this position. The artillery will get off some shots as they begin to organize to attack here, but we've got Sims. I, I, I think that's how it's said. If you know how to say it, please, um, I don't know how you can write that in the comments. Well, you could use IPA. That would, that would work. Or I could just look it up. I'm sure it's on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, on Wikipedia. All right, Walton's Immortals are falling back. Um, Dural's Devils were able to get off. The, their skirmish unit were able to get off a few volleys on a retreating unit. All right, we've pretty much... What are you running? They seem to be running. Oh, uh, Darius Couch has been wounded. All right, not a big deal. Um... I got some really nice comments after one of the last videos in this series that gave me some new uh, tactics and things to be aware of. Apparently, if you press the run button and you don't stop them from running, they will continue to wear out. Also, another uh, issue is uh, falling back takes far fewer casualties and doesn't apparently have any impact on morale. I tested it and those are in fact true. So I'm gonna be trying to use those I think I may have kind of forgotten to use them today already, but um, we haven't actually had to pull any troops back today, so. And I haven't had anybody run intentionally, other than, well, charging is kind of like running. All right, so I'll get Graham's boys back inside the fort because I, I don't want, but you know, I could send Sims here to kind of hit this skirmish unit from the flank. All right, so we're holding them back here, and the main issue is we are once again causing the enemy to focus on the wrong portion of the battle. We have 50 minutes on the mission timer. I'm going to go ahead and grab Walton's Immortals and move them down into the fort just in case. Move Bloom here and begin pressing the attack. I'm going to send Walton's Immortals skirmishers to rejoin their group, their unit, I should say. And we'll order Dural's Devils skirmishers. Actually, I'll leave them independent for the time being. Ward will move forward. He's got good condition and his morale's back up, so we're going to move him forward to hit McRae as they come forward on the flank. Dural's Devils will move forward to hit that as well. Uh, let's see. Bloom. Uh, Juan Dural has been wounded. Uh, that's like the third time in this war, and he was commanding Dural's Devils. So after the Battle of Chickamauga, we'll get him back, and I will reassign him again to Dural's Devils, one of our best generals. All right, so we basically cleared this area of the field. The enemy is continuing to press here, but uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We have a serious problem developing. The artillery is gonna get hit by these um, cavalry units. I need to break off skirmishers. Use the skirmishers to deal with the cavalry while, uh, let's see, then we'll move Sims forward to kind of hold these units. All right, we're going to lose artillery batteries. I have very little doubt of that. McCord is taking some is having, uh, being charged. They're gonna charge Schweitzer's battery, probably then go after Danger Close. I'm sending Couch's skirmishers across. Hopefully they can run uh, the cavalry back. And let's see, what do we got up here? These units should be able to handle this. Ward is going to come down and just kind of see if we can threaten some of their artillery. Maybe we can make them pull back. That's okay. Um, I, I don't have control of Couch at the, this moment. Um, the artillery will try to hold them back. Uh, if I had control of Couch, I would order them to fall back, and hopefully they'd fall back this direction. All right, Sims doing really good. Got good cover. Uh, got a morale buff, and condition's not too bad. Ward needs to get ready. They're bringing the cavalry forward. Uh, Dural's Devils will route here. Bloom will continue attacking Mooser. All right, guys, get off one volley, Ward. All right, we have 27 minutes on the mission timer. All right, we kind of stopped their cavalry from moving up here to assist that area. I think they may have been trying to slow down Ward, which was kind of what I was hoping for, but I was hoping it would pull back 
Okay, McCord is broken. Couch's skirmishers are have managed to rout uh, Shelby's Iron Riders. Um, all right, so here we go. Cavalry's moving forward again. Ward's going to get ready and fire off a volley. Hopefully. Uh, nothing yet. Okay. So we'll move uh, Ward forward to deal with Bell. Sims is taking on several units, and but I think he can handle it. And the artillery and couch are trying their very best. Okay, I need to get couch into position here and let the skirmishers and the artillery deal with this artillery. Okay, that's what it, this cavalry unit, sorry, not artillery. That's what's, what's broken them. The cavalry is being hit by a grape shot from the artillery. All right, so Dural's devils have broken, which makes sense because they lost their commander. So they're gonna have lower morale. It's just gonna be that way. I mean, all right, the, let's see. Um, McCord, we're gonna bring McCord forward. He's got low condition, his morale's decent. Um, mainly, I just want to kind of scare the enemy, hopefully get them to draw back some of their troops. I'm gonna advance Ward forward. Uh, Bloom has been wounded, that's happening up here. Let's see, has this, Dural's Devils has not reformed. Uh, we have 12 minutes on the mission clock. Okay, so not really any chance of them taking the objective. It's just a matter of hoping we don't lose too many troops. Not that it would be too terrible. We were able to do fairly decent after the victory at Gettysburg. All right, the ammo is real low over here, but the artillery is taking care of uh, Shelby's riders. Seven minutes on the mission clock. Ward has gotten off a few volleys on their artillery. We've routed them. Looks like they're moving their cavalry across. This is a, a part of the Western campaign. Um, it mentioned in the mission description something about Vicksburg, which I don't believe we fought that battle. I'm not sure if they're going to add it, but it would be cool if they did. I know we'll be fighting uh, Chickamauga next, and then I just saw they added the Battle of Cold Harbor, I believe, and that'll be fun to fight. And then we should be done with the Union campaign, at least as it stands currently in Ultimate General uh, Civil War, and then we'll be doing the Confederates. The battle should be ending about now. Uh-oh. Okay. Yes, it was a victory at Bayou Forge. All right, so we had a really good battle. Um, let's see what we did. Um, let's see. We deployed with uh, 29,855 troops. They deployed with 19,485 troops. Uh, they had a lot more cavalry than we did. We had, didn't have any, uh, and they had more guns than we did. Um, we lost almost as many uh, infantry units as they did, 6,892 versus 7,265. Um, we only lost two guns. Of course, we had no cavalry to lose. We didn't capture anything, but we fulfilled all of our victory conditions. And let's see, McRae was the best unit, so not one of our units. But after that, Ward, Durrell's Devils, and the Iron Brigade, that kind of surprised me. I didn't expect the Iron Brigade to be the unit that got, I mean, they. I guess they did a lot. Anyway, let's see, what did we have happen? We had um, Juan Durrell got wounded. Bunch of promotions, Bloom got wounded, Couch got wounded, but that's okay. Uh, they'll be back after Chickamauga. Did we capture anything useful? Yes, we got CS Richmond rifles and um, some hunters, not that big of a deal, and uh, another type of CS Richmond and some 13 pounders. Oh, and sniper. I think those, are, yeah, they are 45 caliber rifles with a scope. So really cool. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you have, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and check back tomorrow for, I believe, the Battle of Chickamauga. Thanks for watching.